Keep coming for Carol. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for coming to our dedication of Mayor Patterson uh, our boardroom. Uh, the program itself will be our speeches, and then there will be uh, the unveiling of the of the uh, plaque, and then we're going to have a tour of our beautiful boardroom now. Okay. And then after that, we can go downstairs yeah. and, 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 and join us in um, friendly comradeship at members' prices. <laughs> <laughs> so that helps us a little bit. And then after that, at 3 o'clock, we're also having the uh, official welcoming, um, celebrating the 50 years anniversary of our building with the cut and the cake. So I'm going to turn it over to our president. And, she will give our first speech. Thank you. I'm going to just go up the steps a bit so you can hear me or see me. <laughs> okay. We have gathered here today to honor a past member and a dear friend. The late Marilyn Patterson was a very, very special individual. She was a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a teacher and very much community-minded. She actually taught my children at Menor McMullen many years ago, one of whom of them is a grandparent. Uh, she retired from teaching in 1997. As well as uh, serving on community uh, committees on various community boards with the Moose Lodge, the Eagles, and many others, she was president, and I believe she was founder of the uh, CARP which is the uh, Canadian Association of Retired Persons. I think she was the founder of that local branch. She uh, visited veterans in nursing homes all throughout the district for Veterans Affairs Canada for many years um, to make sure that they were receiving the care that they, were, they should be receiving and for the betterment of their welfare in the nursing homes. <coughs> she, um, Marilyn was also uh, served in the Legion in Sioux, Michigan, and she was on the auxiliary in Sioux, Michigan. I believe she was president at the time of her death of the LA in the Sioux, Michigan branch. Over the years, she received many commendations from commu and community awards from several organizations which she served. And uh, in 2012, she was a recipient of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. Here at the branch, 25 of the Royal Canadian Legion, her service was invaluable and monumental. Marilyn was the first woman president of this branch, serving uh, the post from 1999 to 2003, for two terms she served. And while on the executive committee, Marilyn, for many years, she held many chairs. She was on the held the veteran service, donation review, sports, track and field, ways and means, sick and visiting, entertainment. She was secretary. She was poppy chair. And she held some of these chairs uh, more than one at the same time. So that's a busy lady she was. She held uh, also held executive positions on the zone and I'm not sure, perhaps district. Oh, uh, absolutely. And, and yes. district as well. <clears throat> just, a, just served and served. Her background as a teacher and her love of children, um, she was involved with the, the uh, uh, children's program Battle of the Books, uh, which she held from here uh, in the schools, and, and the public speaking competition, which was, is held here every February. The children do their orals at school, the winners come here to compete, and then the winners here go on to zone and district, and uh, they have done very well. That is a day, if you ever have a Saturday in February when this is on, <coughs> it, is, it is a fantastic day to be here and listen to these children do their orals. It's, it's spectacular. I never miss it. For her service to the Royal Canadian Legion, Marilyn received a life membership uh, some time ago. And then uh, she received also the Meritorious Service Medal. That's a higher honor still. Mm -hmm. And a few days before her death, 
she was awarded the palm leaf, which is the highest honor to be given by the Royal Canadian Legion to any member. That's how high esteem she was held. Her loss to the branch is tremendous. We can't believe one person could do so much and so quietly that we, the rest of the committee, hardly noticed until she was gone, of course. And today we honor her ser that service to this branch by dedicating this room, the uh, boardroom, in her memory and officially naming this room the Marilyn Patterson Boardroom. Could we for a moment bow our heads in prayer, please? <clears throat> 